Hi everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Jennifer's Lair. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Um, today I wanted to get into, I'm just going to get right into this because I've kind of recorded this a couple times. And I'm just trying to get through it. Um, it's a tough situation or whatever to even record this because for me I'm just so sensitive to this. So, um... We do have a package here to get to open, so that's that's going to be awesome, and I'll explain that. And um, what I wanted to go through with you guys is the Australian fires um, and how you can help. So if you guys can help, please, you know, donate. Um, if, if nobody knows, if nobody really sees the news or whatever which i'm hoping you guys all have facebook or, or you know that have a lot of different social media uh pages and things like that you will know about the fires you know how much the animals it affected the animals the innocent animals and how much it really changed their lives and it took out one billion animals in australia you know how sad that is for me now I don't know what happened but there has been some media reporting saying that maybe you know some people started these brush fires or something I I really that breaks my heart that really just strikes like a really bad nerve in me I get really angry and pissed off that someone would do this and now look at the outcome like koala bears may be on the, you know, endangered species list. They might have even taken out the population of kangaroo. There's other animals that probably aren't even being mentioned right now that have, you know, that are going to be on the endangered list. I know that there was some bats, wombats in the, in this, um, and just to see the videos, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the videos, but they are heartbreaking. They are heart-wrenching and heartbreaking. I felt so bad. Like, there was a couple of weeks I didn't even sleep that much because I felt so bad for these animals. Because, like, you know, I wanted to go over there and actually do something. Because I wanted to nurse the little ones. Because they, they need feedings all hours, you know, of the night and everything. So you get these babies, which are, you know, mostly joeys. You get the baby koalas. You get the baby kangaroos. And you have to feed them by the hour. Well, these people are probably exhausted over there right now. Trying to keep up with the demand. Because, they're you know, a lot of the newborns, maybe their mothers were lost in the fire. Could you imagine that? And these people, if they did start the brush fires, they don't care. They don't care that they've affected all these animals. It makes me so angry. I don't, I don't like to hate, and I don't like to get angry. But mess around with some animals, and let me tell you, you'll get me really pissed off. Animals are innocent. They don't deserve this. And, and the thing of it is, is it makes me angry if someone really did start this fire. I mean, come on. What are you trying to prove? And if you did start the fire, why? What was this hate all about? I, people need to drop the fucking hate right now. They need to drop, they need to stop being offended, stop the fucking hate, start loving this planet, and start loving the animals and the people, and try to help each other instead of doing this hateful shit. We're not getting anywhere, and we're destroying our planet, we're, in, we're destroying equal systems, and we're destroying our innocent animals that don't deserve this shit. And we're hurting the people. We're hurting each other. So, I mean, this wasn't, this video wasn't supposed to be like this, but I mean, I feel very pissed off. Like I'm angry about some of these people. Like they don't give a shit. They don't care about the animals. They don't care about the outcome that this has caused. This has caused a lot of pain for a lot of animals and even cost them their lives. They're, every animal to me has a soul. They deserve to be here just as much as you and I. So when people fuck with animals, and I'm sorry, but if people fuck with animals, they make me angry. 
And I am going to speak out for the animals until the day I die because they're innocent and they do not have a voice and they need people like myself to speak out for them because they don't have, they don't have the voice. They don't have the resources. And just because they don't have a voice or the resources to communicate doesn't mean that we have the right to push them out or walk all over them or treat them like crap or kill them. Or do any of this. I'm 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 really tired of dealing with, you know, on the news. I see all this stuff. It's heartbreaking to me. I start crying because I feel their pain. And I don't like to see animals in pain. I don't like to see them hurt. I don't like to hear that one billion animals, their lives are done. Like they're they're done. They've died. I just I I don't I just that just freaking hurts and, and just hurts my heart so much. My heart just hurts. I may like darkly inclined things as you see here, but I don't wish death upon any animals. Animals really don't deserve this kind of crap. And we need to start changing our ways before it's too late. These animals are going to be in, endangered and everything and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave that, leave this like it is. And I'm going to start um, figuring out like, <laughs> well, what I want to say is, is that, you know, animals don't deserve this and, and they need our support right now. So if you guys could donate, donate to this cause that I'm going to be talking about in a couple minutes here. I'm trying to calm myself down because I get so worked up and so pissed off that people like, you know, do this stuff on purpose, hurt animals. It's, it doesn't sit well with me and it never will. It's not right. Just because they can't talk doesn't mean the right. Give us the right to treat them like shit, like they're nothing. They have souls. Animals have souls to me, so they deserve to be here just as much as you and I deserve to be here. So just remember that before you push them away or call them a pest or do whatever the hell people do because there's a lot of evil in the world and I've seen it and I don't like it. So, and I try to, every time I see something, I try to put an end to it really quickly because you can't, you can't do that. Um, so with that being said, uh, there's a lot of ugly and evil in the world. And I just hope that you guys are not any of them. Um, but anyways, in Australia, there was a lot of fires, which are right here. These are, these areas were on fire in Australia, you guys. And um, it, these areas or whatever, they were highly populated areas where there was a lot of koala, there was a lot of wildlife and things like that. And now, I mean, um, you know, they're recovering, but they still need help over there. You know, they've got people nursing the joeys, you know, on the clock, around the clock. They're tired probably and running, you know, slow and... And maybe they're running low on helpers in general, which makes me feel sad because I wish that I could do it. But, you know, I'm from the United States, so it would just be, you know, and I have four cats to take care of and some other, and, you know, things that I have to get done, too. So it's not like I can just drop everything and run over there. I sometimes I wish that I could fly over there like a superhero <laughs> and I could just save everyone, save every single animal. If I had a wish, it would be to see no animal suffering, every every animal respected and every animal healthy and alive and, you know, just loved and, and, um, you know, just totally have homes. If like, you know, the animal needs a home, then the animal would be, there wouldn't be any in shelters anymore. There would be no mistreating of any animals. That would be an awesome wish come true. I would love that. And I would also like to say, I would not want to see us at war anymore. I'm sick of that crap. We need to have peace on earth. We need to have people stop hating each other and love each other. We need to put love back out in the world. So, um, you know, I can't stress that enough. But anyways, 
I'm getting off topic here again because I like to do that in my videos, which you guys know already. So thanks for putting up with that. But um, I'm going to get into some of the stuff. I ran off copies of some of this stuff because I wanted to make sure that I was giving you guys the correct information about this um, this website that you can go to and you can donate. Um, it's called um, Save Australia Wildlife. And um, there's a... There's a there's a website here. It's www.saveaustraliawildlife.org. And so um, I will show you this. And there's a cute little picture of the koala bear there. And then you can go on here and you can shop. And here's one of the things that you can buy. Isn't that cute? A kangaroo with a little koala bear and a little joey in its pouch. And now the when you buy some of this stuff, and I think this one's forty four dollars, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I think there there are some that are cheaper. By the way, um, if you go on there, you can get free shipping when you shop now because these were ran off just today, and today is I want to say the twenty eighth or the 29th. Time's just going by way too fast this month, by the way. It just is. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit about this thing. And since I can't really... I'm sorry, but I want to give you guys the real facts on this shit. I don't want to be, like, making it up or getting anything wrong. So I got this from the website and I'm going to read this to you. And look, there's a picture of a little koala bear. Isn't he cute? And I love little koalas. They're cute. But anyways, it says an estimated of 500 million animals and 20 people have already been killed, including three volunteer firefighters, roughly 14.8 million acres of brush forests and parks have burned as we post this, more fires are still burning across Australia, and some are the size of Manhattan. Over 25,000 koalas are believed to have died in a horrific wildfire in South Australia that may have devastating consequences for the survival of the species. Locals and organizations organizations like WIRES, which is Australian Wildlife Rescue Organization, are stepping forward saving hundreds of koalas. So they're trying to save their koalas, which is awesome, by the way. And let's see. Okay, and then it says, with your help, together, we can continue to save the beloved koala from the horrific fires. Um, some studies at Sydney University have estimated over 800 million animals have been affected in New South Wales and over 1 billion animals in Australia since September, which is really sad, by the way. Okay, and now I've got my pages, I think, messed up. <laughs> Okay, and have animals have been affected. We must step up and get international aid in order to save as many human and animal lives as possible. As a response to the events happening in Australia, we thought this is our duty to contribute. We donate part of our profits directly directly the states hit hardest in Australia, New South Wales and Victoria. 10% and, and uh, Wires Australian Wildlife Rescue Organization, 10% for each product we sell. And then it says, please join us in prayers for Australia and let's put social media to good use for raising awareness and helping out the communities and animals affected. We must step up and get international aid in order to save as many human and animal lives as possible. And then, of course, there is, um, I will show you what you can get. And I'm going to, let me see, I need to lose this paper. 
And I want to share with you some of these little things here. Um, let's see here. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just a little unorganized here, but, um, you know, it would mean a lot to me and, and the Australians and all the animals and stuff. If you could really help to donate. I know that, you know, I do, I did one of these videos before in, in the past and it wasn't a real popular one. But, um, you know, these animals, they've done nothing wrong and they have, you know, suffered tremendously. Their homes are gone. They're burnt. Maybe some of their babies are gone and their mothers, the mother's babies might have passed away as well. Um, there's just so many things, you know, and they've got burns all over their body. Imagine having burns on your feet and hands and how hard it would be for you to get around or walk or even take care of your baby if you even had one. So I would really appreciate, I mean, I can't stress this enough, if you could possibly help. Um, the koalas need our help right now more than ever, and the wildlife, they definitely need the help. So if you guys could help, that would be awesome. Go to www.saveaustraliawildlife.org and possibly maybe, uh, you know, um, get one of these guys. And then they've also, and Mooney is in here now, my little sweet kitten. She is making a lot of noise, so you're going to hear her in the background. She's trying to climb underneath the table. <laughs> and here's another one of those, like the Joey with the little koala bear and the little, uh, um, little Joey inside its pouch. And there is some product details in here. You can get a small six inch one. You can get a medium eight inch or a large 12 inch. And they're made from ultra soft vegan cotton and silk screen fabrics. So, um, so that's actually good. You know, they're vegan friendly, so that's awesome. And then um, here's like the little things, the details of the products. And I believe these ones are, tw and they're free shipping, guys. Right now, they're free shipping when you buy one. And, um, and like I said, aren't these cute? And one of them is, I think the one that I bought was $24.99 or something like that. And so they're not much. And then you get a cute little cuddly thing. And then you can also, and I believe this one, depending on the, depending on, um, depending on the size, I guess, this one might be 44 or something, but I'm, I'm not sure if they've got different sizes in this one. My bad. Um, but they only have a couple different different ones. I am going to open my package now and show you guys uh, what I got. I had to do this because my heart, it was just telling me to do it. I was like, I need, I need to do something to help. And I love koalas. They're like really cute. And I do like kangaroos. I do love all animals. Some of them I like more than others, but they were just so cute, and I had I just had to help. So, oh, oh, you are just so cute. Okay, guys, I did get two of them, and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Here, taking them out of the bag. Oh, you guys are the cutest things ever. Oh my God. I love these guys so much. Oh, they're so cute. I could imagine I'd go crazy in Australia. I would love it. I probably wouldn't even want to sleep because I'd be feed, bottle feeding all the little ones and stuff. Oh, I love it. I would love that. I wouldn't like to see some of the stuff. I bet you it would be hard for me. I probably would go ball for a while. But I know that I would be there for the and the reason why and the reasons why. So it would probably keep me going, even though it would kind of depress me in a way. But all these animals would rely on me. So 
it would kind of be like, Jennifer, you need to keep your strength up for the animals. They need you. So um, I love taking care of my animals. So I, keep, I take really good care of my kitties, all four of them. They're so sweet. And there she goes again. She's walking on stuff. I have some snacks on the floor here because I knew it was going to be a long night of filming again. So, but anyways, without further ado, look at these guys. Oh, they're holding a baby. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's a little koala. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Mwah. <laughs> Me and my toys. I know. I'm a, I'm a sucker for plushies, though. Really, I am. I love it. Oh, look at these. Look at how cute they are. Don't tell me you don't want one of these. I got two of them. They were $24.99 each. Um, you know, and normally I give my money to the... World Wildlife Foundation, but they didn't, I looked on their list and they didn't have any plushies of koala bears. They had like where you can donate, but I really wanted a plushie just because I see these little things on the news all the time and they're so damn cute and I, I just needed this. I need these in my life. So I decided to get two and, um, and it was out of my birthday money, so it wasn't like, oh, yeah, you know, um, I bought these out of birthday money so that I could um, help the koalas because that's where my heart is right now in Australia. And they're just so cute, guys. I mean, who would not want these? They're super cute. I love them. And the babies, look at the little babies they're holding. They're so cute. And I think they could come out. Not that I want them out either, but I think, oh, they can. They could come out, guys. Look at the little one. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Let me put you back in. <laughs> oh, now Charmy's making noise in my room. They're liking, they're really wanting to climb tonight and underneath the table. I don't know. I think there's like a little, um, a little toy behind my couch. So they're going behind there to go find their little toy. I try to dig as much toys out as possible, but no matter what, they always push one back in. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> Cat parents, have you ever noticed that? <laughs> These are so cute though. Oh, I love you. I know I am such a sucker. I love animals, and I can't help it. And I'm proud of it, though. And I love plushies. So, yes, I'm in my 40s, and I like plushies. So sue me. So I guess I'm in jail or whatever you want to. Whatever you want to judge me, I don't give a crap. Because, you know what? I love plushies. I love animals, and I'm not ashamed of that. You're never too old to have plushies. Oh no, one of my plushies fell. You have to stay up here, honey. Just stay. <laughs> there. Oh, here comes Charmy again. Did you find your toy, Charmy? Like she's gonna talk to me. Charmy, I love you. Oh, I love my cats way too much. But anyways, if you guys can, you guys uh, please donate. Um, you can, you won't be sorry. These things are really high quality and they came to me free shipping. Um, and you can get more than one and they'll ship them together or whatever for free. And, um, just go to www.saveaustraliawildlife.org. So please check that website out. Check it out, people. I would really appreciate it, and so would the animals, and so would the people over there in Australia. And I do send prayers and get well, quick recoveries to all the animals that have survived the fires that have been injured, hurt, or misplaced, or, um, you know, the babies lost their mom or the mom lost their babies. I hope that they all, you know, just, I hope all the animals just, I wish them all my love and my heart 
and everything and I hope that they'll all be okay and I hope that they won't suffer um, I hope that they heal fast and get released out in the wild so they can be reproducting and try to get more animals and I hope that they don't they don't have to be on the endangered species list and if they are I hope they get off of them really quick um, I just have a lot of love for Australia I have friends out in Australia so hi Phil if you're watching this and Sarah his wife and his little girl um, I appreciate you guys I love you guys and I want you guys to stay safe over there in uh, Australia um, I also have other friends in Australia so hi to you guys <laughs> um i really appreciate you guys in australia and um i have i have nothing but love for you guys in australia and i really appreciate and i hope that you guys can help the animals and help the people and i hope everybody gets to rebuild their houses that lost everything and i just wish the best for everyone um, this has just been a sad and unfortunate event and it's still going on. It's still happening and, um, they haven't even hit their hottest month yet. So I just hope that things calm down there for them and maybe it'll stay a little bit cooler for them this year. They've had so much loss already and so much happen that I just couldn't, I can't even fatten, phantom that there's going to even be more heat and stuff on the way. Um, if you guys can help, please, I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. If you guys can help at all, um, look, look up the website, pick out a plushie. If that's what you want, you can also give it away as a gift to like your grandchild, or maybe you have a child that wants one or, you know, um, you won't be sorry. I just would really greatly appreciate any help, and I'm sure they do too. So I want to thank you guys so much for the bottom of my heart. Also, I want to thank you guys for all your subscriptions, all, all of the um, comments on my videos, all the questions that you guys have asked me for my, qu my question and answer video, which will be coming up, well, shortly. In a little bit. I'm still waiting to see if we can get some more questions. Um, also, I would like to say thank you for all the likes and the love that you guys show this channel and me. I know that I don't have a whole lot of, you know, experience in doing the video thing or whatever, but I just really appreciate it. And I know I get passionate when it comes to animals, but really, I mean, I love them so much and I, I really want to help as much as I can. Um, I also help stray cats, by the way, I help them. They, we have a lot in our neighborhood. So my husband and I, we built these like things for, um, uh, they were just tubs and we put some insulation in them and we set them out in our, we set them up on top of, uh, some things so they're not on the ground. So it's warmer for them. And we, we have them in our little shed so they can get in and out of the shed just freely as they want to. Um, the door has like a hole in it or something so they can get up in there and they can get in there and snuggle. But, um, and I leave, I try to leave out food, um, for them because it's nearly not their fault that they're out there. Somebody let their cat out, their cat got pregnant. They didn't want the kittens. They didn't want to deal with it. So they just drop it off and let them fend for themselves. I think that's a horrible thing to do. And if you have an animal, you need to be responsible for that animal for the rest of its life. You don't wanna just sit there and do that. I don't understand it, because then, especially if it's a female, it's gonna reproduce and it's gonna have kittens. These kittens did not deserve to even be born out there. So now they have to survive the cold, the wind, the rain, storms, and people, dogs, and all kinds of other things. So, I mean, please, 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 if you don't want kittens or whatever, and you have a cat, and you let it go outside, please get it fixed. Just get it fixed so it doesn't make any kittens. Because you really, I mean, those kittens just don't deserve to be out there right now. We had 
there was a there's one kitty that's around here our area and it had kittens this last fall and it broke my heart because it had four and now it's only down I've only seen two all winter long so those cats didn't deserve that and I tried to get close to one my us my husband actually tried to get close to one too but one of them is very vicious and it bit him twice and um, I started crying because, you know, I feel bad for it because it's, they're just scared. They're, you know, but they were in our garage and we couldn't get them out. My husband started petting it or whatever. And it did not like that. But, um, and then bit them out of fear. You know, it was just scared because it was, you know, but I just feel so horrible about these cats and everything all over our neighborhood because people don't want to deal with that. I don't want anything bad to happen to those cats because those cats didn't, it wasn't their fault. That's the thing people need to remember. You need to remember the fact that if you have a cat and it has kittens, you're, re you're responsible for that cat and the kittens for the rest of its life. Don't, don't try to sit there and like throw it out like it's nothing. Those kittens will have to survive and they're going to suffer. Why? Because you can't take responsibility for your pets? I'm sorry, but you know what? If my cats ever had kittens, I'd have to, I'd have to take them in. I'd have to like find responsible pet owners to help, you know, to, you know, to give them to and if I couldn't find any I wouldn't sh I sure in hell wouldn't be throwing them out the door like they're nothing they don't deserve that it's it's the pet owner's responsibility take responsibility for your pets if you're gonna have them have them for the rest of their lives don't sit there and pawn them off I don't care if they don't go with your furniture you should have thought about that before I don't care if the kid is doing something to them then guess what you teach your kid how to tr how to you know Treat your pet differently. You, you teach them how to not do that. And you try to work with them. You don't sit there and just throw them out the door like they're nothing. I'm sorry, but that's just rude and mean. And these animals do not have any, they don't have a voice. And so you're going to get sick of hearing mine. Because I'm not going to shut up about animals until the day I die. So I'm not. I'm just, I'm going to keep up what I'm doing because animals do not have a voice and I have a I have one for them and I'm very sensitive when it comes to animals don't mess with the animals I don't like seeing these posts on Facebook it makes me angry that I see all these posts that people are so violent to animals it's like why why are you so violent why do you gotta hurt the animals for what did they ever do to you and then they go and hurt people as well. So it starts out with animals. That's what I've been told. And then it goes to people. It's like, why? Why? Why do you have to hurt anybody? What is wrong with you? So with that being said, I mean, I love animals. I'm always going to speak out for them. Please, please, please. I'm so sorry about rambling on, but I'm passionate about animals and I can't help it. I feel the need to educate people and make them see a different side, which would be the animal side versus the person side. So because I just think about it in that way. So and uh, I think it's kind of a gift in a way. So um, anyways, you guys, please think about it. Think about donating to the Australian Wildlife um, Australian Wildlife Place, please, 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 please. Here's the web page again. Please just try and you know try to you know do this because I would really greatly appreciate it. So would the animals, and um, you guys can pick out a you know you guys can donate a smaller uh, amount. If you guys don't want the big one, which I've got the biggest ones that they had, um, then you guys could get like smaller ones and donate a little bit less. But every little bit helps, you guys. I can't even stress that enough. So if you guys can help the Australian um, Wildlife uh, dot org, I would greatly appreciate it. 
Anyways, I'm sorry if this was such a like rambling, you know, maybe me being angry video. I'm just really hurt by uh, humanity at this point. It's, it's just, it breaks my heart. We just, we need to come together. We need to love each other. We need to help the animals. We need to help each other and we need less hate. So, and I'm sorry if I seem hateful or whatever. I try not to be, try not to come off that way. But um, like I said, I have a love and passion for animals. Like, you know, like nobody's business. But I just really love, I love animals with all my heart and soul. And I just, I want what's best for them. So, if I get passionate and a little bit angry about it, it's not because I hate people or whatever, but people frustrate me because of their actions. Now, I know I can't control their actions or anything. I have nothing to do with that, but it just, they still frustrate me. I mean, it doesn't take the frustration away from, you know, and the heartbreak and the sadness that I feel. So please, please, please help animals. Be their voice. You know, try and please donate to the Australian uh, Wildlife dot org. Please try and look that up. Maybe get yourself some cute little plushies to love on. <laughs> They're super cute. Oh, I just love these guys so much. Anyways, um, thank you guys for your subscriptions. Thanks for subscribing to my channel, I should say. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I lost one of my plushies. <laughs> I lost this little guy's. You guys need to sit here. Sit here and be nice. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for your subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank you guys for all your likes, your comments, and watching these videos it means so much to me i'm trying to do less hauls and more videos um that make you know that that actually you know that i want to do and um yeah i do want to do hauls too and stuff like that but i can't always get the stuff for the hauls you know it takes a little time to get that stuff so um I don't really like to do a whole lot of hauls, but my channel gets the most views. I don't get it with the hauls. It's, it must be something with YouTube, like I've heard other YouTubers say. So, but anyways, I guess I hope you guys, um, you know, help the animals. If you guys see something, make sure you turn it in to the authorities. Though, if an animal is getting abused that you know of, please, 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 please speak up for that animal and try to get it out of its environment if the, it's being abused because there's all kinds of abusive stuff going on in the world and we need to have less of that and that animal does not deserve or animals do not deserve to live in that environment and remember you are their voice they don't have voices to help themselves we have to help them and they are innocent so Please protect the innocent animals. That's all I'm going to say. And please be their voice. Speak up. Please help. If you can donate, please donate to them. Otherwise, donate to another charity that you know of that maybe it will go uh, to the koalas and some of the other animals that need the, the funding. Please just help in any way, shape, or form you can. I guess until next time, this is it on Jennifer's Lair. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll talk to you next time on Jennifer's Lair. Bye.